All right, uh, I forgot to give you guys a quick uh, navigation tutorial on Make Human, so let me just do that real quick. Uh, clicking, you rotate around the view. Right click, you pan up and down. And mouse, you zoom in and out while you're controlling, clicking. It's controlling. Should be control. That nah, should have worked. Oh well, let me see. Hmm. It's not working. Oh well. Just use the middle mouse button to, you know, do all that and stuff. So, uh, so yeah, just so you know how to navigate and stuff. So, uh, keep that in mind when you follow this tutorial. Hello, my name is Darius Young, and welcome to another modeling Superman tutorial. In this one, we're gonna put Superman's head in his uh, this little area that we made for him, and. To do that, we're going to be going to a program called Make Human. So, I'm going to open that up. Okay, here we go. Uh, don't mind any uh, quote unquote, you know, nudities just for creativity purposes. So, uh, but in this program, Make Human, you have this uh, character that they give you, and you can basically customize it to your liking. Do pretty much whatever you want with it. You can make it a girl or a boy. In this case, we're going to stick with boy. So, um,. You could change uh, the, the gender over here in the macro area, the gender, the age, muscle tone, weight, height. But we're not going to worry about uh, this except maybe the. Nah, we're not going to worry about the age either. And he's white, so you know, don't move this because this will make him either African or Asian or a mixture of the two. So, that's done. Let's go to face. In the face settings, you can change his head shape. Uh, so, let's see. Mm. Yeah, no. Nope. No would be a good idea to do. Just have a picture of Superman's face up. Let's go to Superman. Okay. And we want a face kind of like. It's a good comic book face. That would be so awesome. <laughs> uh, that'd be so awesome. Okay, anyway. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Not that kind of face. It's kind of goofy. Something like. Uh, I guess we'll just go with this. This kind of face. So let's go to new image so we can see. So we want something like this kind of face for Superman. So let's get to working on that. So he has kind of like a squarish face, like so. So let's give him. Hmm, you may have to just leave it alone and change the uh, nose and the mouth and the chin. If we can't get it exactly right in here, we can do some manual modifications in Blender. So that's the head shape. Go to head in the category selection. And um, 
Let's see. Maybe. Oh, this is a. Okay. So let's go. The neck doesn't matter. Do the eyes matter? Let's see. Okay. Mm. Uh, we're not gonna worry about his eyes. The nose, however, that's what we're gonna worry about. Right now. So let's see. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh, let's change this. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Yeah. Looks good. Now the mouth. The mouth, the mouth, the mouth. Here we go. Um, sorry for the noise in the background. It's really hard to find. Peace and quiet. It was peace and quiet a minute ago. So, stuff started happening. So, uh, the mouth. He has kind of like a thin mouth. Zoom in. Kind of like a really thin mouth right here. So we'll see if we can't. Okay, now, now for the chin, let's go to chin, let's see what this will do, okay, that's, that's better, uh, let's see, what we do. okay, we don't want that, okay, you get give him crimson chin, just chin, Okay. Those cheeks are so Cheeks are really good. Okay. So now let's go to. Uh, let's go to the library. Let's go to skin. Give a Caucasian. Male. Uh, well, actually, no, it won't really matter when we put them in the blender because we will slap one different color on them, but you know, this is just for so it's better to look at. Um, so, go to files, go to export, export it as a Colada DEA, type in super and base. Then hit export. Export it, and it's already in my export file, so I'll just go like so here. File. Let's go back. Okay. File, uh, import, Collada, exports. Make sure you export your uh, export your character correctly, or else uh, it won't work right. So, now we're gonna do delete this. Select by right click, rotate with R X. Then hit 90 degrees. Okay. Scale it way down. So we can compare him. So let's open both of these. Bring them up. Scale. 
back. Shift S, cursor to center. Shift S, selection to cursor. Hit tab, A, select everything. Bring it up so it's right there. So it's here, touching my line. Tab out, S, scale it. Okay. So that's good. So the head would be about right there. So, what we're going to do now, hit tab, and now the reason I decided to make the head like that was we're going to delete this body that came with the head, and we're just going to keep the head, but the thing is, you made the head, right? Hit 5, and you see the mouth, the eyes, the teeth, the tongue, everything is done for us. So we don't have to worry about all that. It takes a lot less time. So let's start selecting all the vertices we don't want. Z. Still all of these guys. So now we can sort Yes. Here. Zoom out. Just like this. Okay. So we have all the oops, keep that there. So, Okay, so we have all the parts that we want to delete. Hit X and faces and bam. So now we just have the face. Now let's go face here. Okay. Alright, so we're almost done. We've got to fit the face. G. Uh, oh, wait, wait. Uh, we gotta turn on center. See, it does on the other side. That's one way to mirror without adding a mirror modifier. You would add a mirror modifier if um, you would have to make extrusions and stuff on your mesh. You would do this if you already have your mesh done and you just want to make it a quick, quick little adjustment. And you need it to happen on both sides. Okay? Alright. So we have. Now, down here, and okay, so now we have that. Let's give this guy a texture. Alright, I got a good idea. Select this. Grab this. Whoa. Yeah. Okay, so no, no, just make it up. So now we have this little thing. So go off of this uh, tutorial, you know, we'll watch the tutorial, uh, some more adjustments here, okay, alright, so we got our mesh, we subdivided it, uh, just do some stuff here, alright, so, uh, thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next tutorial if I whatever finish with this one. <laughs> um, just uh, fixing up a bunch of stuff. Okay, yeah. All right, I'm leaving now. This time, seriously. All right. So, take care.